you for a very friendly uh, introduction. Good morning, I'm Sir Park. Uh, I'm here for uh, on behalf of Ministry of Government and Legislation in South Korea. I'm very honored to be here and have this opportunity to present to you our government's efforts to make legal language plain and simple, which we name this project uh, Easy to Understand Statute Project. The major part of the project is amending statutes by replacing Chinese characters and Japanese style words and expressions with plain Korean words, and also improving sentence structure simple and clear. You could ask why this project is necessary in Korea. And the first reason, main reason is because of uh, so many Chinese characters in laws. Through its history, Korea has long used Chinese characters, or hanja, in its literary system. In particular, uh, therefore, there are so many uh, Chinese characters still remaining in our written language. And in particular, the legal language contains a great deal of Chinese characters. However, following the modernization of the country, Korea's native alphabet, or Hangul, is widely used, making laws in Chinese characters very difficult for general people to understand. The second reason is because of Chinese uh, Japanese style terms and expressions. Korea was under the rule of Japan during the World War II area, era, uh, following the liberation from 36 years of Japanese colonial rule, Korean modern law was enacted based on Japanese laws <coughs> that resulted in a preponderance of Japanese style legal terminology and Japanese style expressions in Korean laws, making laws unnecessarily difficult to understand. To add one thing, nowadays we refer a lot of uh, U.S. laws and EU laws, so and we translate or copy this, their language, so it's, it's also a problem. <coughs> Against this backdrop, the law League in 2000 started an initiative for Koreanization of laws, which is to use only Korean alphabet instead of Chinese characters for newly promulgated or amended laws. In 2004, the Morley sponsored the Special Measure Bill to Koreanize legal provision, which is to replace every Chinese character used in existing laws with Korean alphabet all at once. So we revised the old existing laws all at once. But to make plain laws, just Koreanizing was not enough and revisions of legal terms and structures were more required. Finally, in 2006, the Molek established a five-year plan for the easy-to-understand statute, statute, which is an overall plan to revise whole provisions in laws, easy and simple. So before, you change Chinese character to Korean alphabet, just uh, automatically. But at this time, we change whole sentences and structures. It includes not only Koreanization, but also improvement of difficult terms and complex sentence structures in Before closing, I'd like to do a brief view on the future directions of the project. So far, the project has contributed to making legal texts easier and more natural to read for the public. But on top of that, we plan to make statutes more readable by using tables, figures, and formulas. I'll show it later, um, some examples later. Another direction is furthering its scope uh, to be a private area, beyond the public area. We realize using plain language should not be limited only to statutes. <coughs> so we plan to provide some samples with plain language or private contracts, customer agreements, and so on. <laughs> so this is an example of using formula. This is text law. Text law. And custom ad. 
This is what I have today. Thank you for listening.